everyone it's chauncey welcome to wisdom principle for seven thank you for taking the time to listen to what god has placed upon my heart and welcome to those who are new to this channel ephesians 5 verse 11 says take no part in unfruitful works of darkness but instead expose them in an open vision, I saw a long banquet table which went on for miles. I saw men, women, and children of different races and ages seated at the table. Each had an exquisite place setting before them as hot meals were brought to each one. Some had appetizing meals, while most had rotten meals. Everyone began eating regardless of the type of meal. No one complained about their meals. They just ate. What's on your spiritual plate? What is your spiritual diet? Who are you really being spiritually fed by? Are you hungry for God or is your spiritual appetite seeking satisfaction in other things? Some of us aren't craving the pure and true things of God, but instead we have grown complacent in consuming rancid teachings, hankering after false prophecies, and indulging in the works of the flesh without testing the spirit. First Peter 2 and 2 says, You must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for nourishment. We are each to be all the more spiritually discerning in this heightened age of deception about what we are hearing, for it is all the more vital to our mental, spiritual, and physical well-being. We need to greater distinguish the difference between lies and truth, but also sound teaching and false teaching. Be mindful even of those seasoned within the fivefold, for some prominent voices have gone astray, being conformed to the things of this world. Know the tree by the fruit it produces. There shall also be a supernatural oil spill from heaven for those who are looking to what God did in the past and living on yesterday's revelations. It is time to anticipate and expect a new fresh and appointed move of God. We are in a season of fresh oil. This oil is not going to drip. It will flow quickly and abundantly while reviving that which was lifeless. It will restore what was thought to be lost. It will rejuvenate that which had become tiresome and tedious. It will heal, prosper, and renew in undeniable ways. Chronicle 29 verse 36 says, And Hezekiah and all the people rejoiced because God had provided for the people, for the thing came about suddenly. Things are going to speed up even quicker as this year goes by. Our God will continue to do things quickly, unexpectedly, and without warning. For there is a suddenly within your suddenly. It's your due season for that which has been long overdue. Watch those long-awaited prayers manifest back to back. Prepare for blessings to come out of nowhere. Suddenly, you'll get healed. Suddenly, God will meet that impossible need unexpectedly. Suddenly, you'll be approved. 
Suddenly, the keys will be put in your hands. Suddenly, that unsaved loved one will accept Jesus into their heart. Suddenly, the phone will ring with the good news. God is moving instantaneously and unexpectedly. Prepare for a suddenly within your suddenly. Until next time, remember wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and in all you're getting, get understanding.